Hi everyone, Sandy from Hobby Headquarters. Uh, I started making a diorama a little while ago and in the process of it I received in all of the new Vallejo diorama effects and weathering effects that have just come out. They have 27 new product items from muds and all kinds of different stuff. So in the process of making the video I decided to incorporate all the new Vallejo stuff to kind of give you an idea of what to be looking for and how it works. Now I only used about four or five of the different products but you'll get a general idea of how they go on. So let's get started on it. Okay, in this first part, I'm just going to give you a rundown of what they've actually come out with and tell you what type of consistency it is. The first one is fuel stains. This is very, very liquidy, so this will be good for streaking and things like that. Uh, we have Russian mud, which is very, very thick. In fact, it won't even move inside the bottle. Next one they have is a mud and grass combo, which actually has fibers of grass in mixed with the mud. We've got Russian splash mud, which is of median consistency. Then they have rain marks, uh, brown engine soot, European splash mud, light brown splash mud, streaking grime, crushed grass, European mud, brown splash mud. And there's a light splash, or excuse me, light brown splash mud. Oil stains, which is very liquidy. Uh, petrol spills, also very liquidy. Wet effects. Diesel stains. And then we have rust texture. Industrial mud. This is one I plan on using very soon too, is the snow, which is very pasty-like, so that should uh, come in handy. Industrial splash mud, slimy green, excuse me, slimy grime dark, and grab these other ones over here, moss and lichen, black splash mud, engine grime, and the last two is light brown mud and black mud. Now they retail in the United States for $5.99 and you get a 40 milliliter bottle. So uh, let's try them out on a few models. Okay, we're gonna start doing our snow base, uh, kind of like we did with the desert base we did a while ago. I painted the entire base black, and now what we wanna use is equal parts of Magic Sculpt hardener and brown resin. And the easiest way to do that is just kind of ball them up and get them to a roughly the same size, and just start working them together. Okay, for the next step of the uh, winter scene we're going to do, uh, I removed the uh, pine trees out of there so we could get the tank on. And we might use this tank, might use a different one, but it's going to be a Panzer IV one way or another. So we'll put the Panzer IV into place and just start pushing down on the road wheels to put the nice track imprint. And I know the vehicle hangs over the side, but I kind of like the way it overpowers the... Uh, the diorama a little bit for lack of a better word making the the model the center of attention rather all the diorama stuff so oh, pop the top off there 
So, and a wheel too. Okay, the, uh, the first uh, Vallejo product we're going to try out is their new Thick Mud. Um, I bought some of the bigger containers for myself because I plan on doing a lot of uh, mud and things on it. And right away when you open it, you can see it's a very thick paste. Um, show you what it looks like right there. So let's go ahead. This is going to be my first attempt at it too. So let's go ahead and start putting it on in here and see how it uh, starts to look. Getting it up on the tracks and I used kind of just an old stiff brush that I had. Uh, haven't really been able to find out any instructions on this stuff, but so we'll just kind of wing it as we go along here getting a little bit on the road wheels themselves and a little bit in the middles. It looks like it does stay pretty thick and, and crusty, which is a good thing. Now they make quite a few colors of just the mud alone, but we're just using the European one on this. Get it up on the tracks. leaving too much on the actual rubber part because most of that would rub off as the vehicle is moving. I'd say it's looking pretty good. It it's really giving the effect of mud, and from what I see, or I heard on this stuff, that is it dries really hard, and still has that glossy effect for it. So I'm gonna work on that for a few more minutes there, and let it dry, and then come back and tell you what I think of it. One of the other products they have out is a splash mud, which they say to put on with a brush and an airbrush kind of mixture. And I'm assuming that you just splash it on.
gonna add gone ahead and added a little static grass to the mud effect and kind of we're gonna blend a little bit of it into this to kind of make it look like a muddy grassy field that this tank just messed up and I'm not putting too much on into the middle of the diorama because honestly the tanks gonna cover the entire thing so and this stuff does dry really hard so it should grab a lot of the grass and blend it right in so see how this works out okay I've gone ahead and put a little bit extra thick area right where the tracks would be so as you may have seen in the previous video when I was doing the demonstration on this I muddied up the bottom of this but with this we're gonna take it for its ambush scene we're gonna push it into that softened mud Give it a little bit of, and you can start to see it coming out the sides. And then I think what I'll do is I'll brush a little bit more inside there to give it the, the effect of weight. Now the next kind of uh, product we're going to try out is the, well, a little close to it there, is the European Splash Mud. And basically what it says to do is you put it on with an airbrush and a stiff brush. So I'm going to shake it up here and put a little bit on the brush and then blast it with the airbrush and you'll see what kind of effect we get out of it. Probably try to come from up above. Hopefully you can see the uh, splashes starting to form there. Well, here we go. This is the uh, completed diorama. I've done a little cleanup on it. Uh, this is the, the kind of the front view. It's supposed to be an ambushing Jagdpanzer IV. And as we turn it around here, you can get an idea of what the uh, Vallejo mud effects have done. I'm actually kind of happy with the way the mud is now it's my first go around with these so as we use them more and more we'll learn how to use them and you know refine the process but I think the mud does look really really good it dries hard but it still has a shiny effect to it and it actually even glued the vehicle to the base so we don't have to worry about uh, the piece falling off and you can see the way the mud collects on the tracks and things like that so it looks it looks pretty good so that is the video. I appreciate you watching and please stay tuned because we have more videos coming.